Hello there and welcome back to my channel. So today I am looking extremely ratchet. I am very aware of this. My excuse and here it comes like a builder, a builder, I was gonna say builder rolling down a hill. I meant boulder rolling down a hill but builder rolling down a hill. It sounds a lot more entertaining to watch especially if you had like his hard hat on and then that went off into the distance. Do you know what? I have just come from watching a few videos on YouTube with the boys and they were videos of this, um, they call it the Cheese Hill Rolling Festival and it's based in Gloucestershire here in the wacky UK and they do it kind of every year I think and they have like um, this big round round like cheese and what they do is they roll the cheese like down the hill and the idea is is that you've got loads of people just like running after the cheese and whoever gets to the cheese first is the winner i don't know if they win a prize or if they're just you know an, an icon after that like the icon that got the cheese but people are flying everywhere like it shouldn't be funny I, and i should not be laughing at people having accidents because you know that's not very nice but it's hilarious and they know that they're going to have an accident if they do that so I feel like they know that somebody's going to be laughing at them do you know what I mean um anyway guys anyway so today we're going to be testing out a very exciting palette from our favorites you can be so they did very kindly send this palette to me I've never told you what it is yet but you will have seen in the title of the video I'm sure with like the thumbnail of me like this or something you know what I mean if it's crap it'd be like this anyway guys so they actually did send me a couple of other products so I'll just tell you about those first so the first one is a it's like I don't know how do we describe this it's a face and body painting palette so this is made up of a cream formula eyeshadows I am a little bit sad that this got to me like the day after Halloween because I feel like it would have been like a really wonderful palette to have used on Halloween but I am going to be doing a kind of review of this and I've decided that I'm going to do a look of like the Corpse Bride in um, Corpse Bride oh my gosh yes that's that's the film uh, or Sally in the Nightmare Before Christmas so yeah I'm going to be doing that video soon I've never attempted anything like that before so I think it'll be it'll be a disaster it'll be a better disaster guys it'll be more of a disaster than the people that decided to go chase after the cheese down the hill, honestly. Um, the second products that they sent me are their new liquid eyeliners. These are called the Precise Definer Liquid Eyeliner. They sent me two different shades. So I've got a brown one and I've got a black one. So I'm very excited to try these out today. I did plan on actually trying these out in this video, but me being the eager beaver that I am I just went ahead and did my eyebrows the icon of the moment the star of the show that we're going to be trying out today is the spotlight palette so I did show this on my Instagram page and a lot of people were like so excited and believe me like I am so excited about this palette for a start the whole aesthetic and yes I do always feel like a pretentious knob when I say aesthetic I know it's just like it just comes off as sounding like a ridiculous like I get it but the aesthetic looks so fabulous guys it really does it's, and oh no guys I forgot there was a little bit of trouble I think on the journey over here and one of the eyeshadows is shattered and it's now you know in near where my vagina is I've got pants on of course like just to confirm I have pants on but it's like oh shit the bit of a disaster honestly guys look let me just show you like I don't want to spoil the showing of the palette but this here is the beautiful palette and it's this navy blue shadow that has it's meta grizzly and honestly I've still got a little bit in there but the majority of it has fled it's fled faster than the people chasing the mm. cheese down the hill oh my gosh you're thinking we stop talking about the fecking fecking cheese going down the hill we don't fecking care i'm sorry guys it's just because you know it was in my mind from watching these videos this morning lolling with the boys on the chair anyway i'm going to try rescue this eyeshadow ah oh no guys oh shit it's all of my fanciest feck crushed velvet chair no Other 
than the black is the darkest shade in the palette. Oh my gosh, what a disaster that was. Um, I don't know how I'm going to rescue this, guys. Let me just give my chair a wipe. Sorry, I know you did not come here to see me giving my chair a wipe, but can you see? <gasps> ah! Ah! So sorry, like anyone with headphones on. I am so sorry. I, I will forever have navy blue eyeshadow on my chair. But you know what? Imperfection gives character. So now my chair, it has a lot of character. Okay, so guys, I'm back on my chair, so this can only mean one thing. I'm actually about to show you the palette. So this is what she looks like. As I said, or I don't know if I did say it, she's called the Spotlight Palette. She costs around nine pounds. Mm. So she costs around nine pounds. You can buy her from the You Can Be official store on AliExpress. This palette, she's colorful, she is playful, experimental she is a stainer of chairs but we still love her it's fine so i have something to admit i need to be transparent as i always will be but i've not actually swatched this palette yet because i'm back working full time now so like i don't know it's not time to do it so i'm going to be filming the eye look today and then later on i'm going to do a swatching so i will input the swatching clip here now so that you can see it um and I'm, I'm terribly sorry that like i don't know it doesn't really matter that i've not swatched before trying it i don't think so but anyway i'll insert the footage right now enjoy this watching guys enjoy it i hope it's great <laughs> Okay, so guys, like, I've been sat here staring at this palette for so long. I am just spoiled for choice. Like, to say I'm spoiled for choice is 
an understatement. I'm just staring at it thinking, like, what kind of look can I create? I just don't know. But I don't know why. Why am I holding the camera like this? You're thinking, yeah, I'm going to need to stop it. Just stop it right now. But, oh, by the way, I didn't explain why I was looking ratchet today. It's because it's really cold. Like, I don't know how, how I did not tell you, but it's freezing cold. So that's why in the winter, there is no time for nice tops. You just want comfort. So anyway, I think I'm going to use this beautiful, beautiful shimmer here. And then I'm probably going to go for like, I think a little bit of like a purpley crease. Um, but I don't know, it could, maybe not. Maybe I'll do something completely different. But I am going to begin the video today. And I'm going to begin it with doing something that I have never done before. But I keep seeing people doing it on Instagram. So I feel like... I want to do it too. Like, I, I want to be part of the trend. So I'm going to use my Maybelline Instant Age Eraser Concealer. And I'm just going to, like, I'm popping this all up in my eye. And I'm going to just, like, do a whole load of this. And as you can see, like, this is lighter than my foundation. It's in the shade Light, uh, believe it or not. So, yeah, I'm just thinking that this is going to work really well as a base for the for the bright colours that we're going to pop upon it. So there we go, guys. Look, I've never done this before. Can you even believe it? You're thinking, what? What, girlfriend? You've never done this before? No. So now, just patting it out with my finger. By the way, you know this nail polish I've got on? This was from Primark, and it cost a pound. And it's actually really, really good quality, because I brought nail polishes from Primark before, and they've been shit. They'd be shit. So there we go, guys. Right, I'm going to do the same on the other eye. I'm not going to waste your time showing you. But by the way, look. Can you see how much smaller this eye looks now than this eye? What is that all about, guys? What is it all about? This is crazy. Like, we're, we go through our life wanting everything to look bigger. So why why are we doing this to ourselves? I, oh, this is taking ages, guys. It's like, really? Oh, if you're in a rush, do not do, not do this. It takes fucking ages. It, it best be worth it. Best be worth it. Mm. Okay, so anyway, guys. So there we go. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to leave it as well. I know Christy is going to be really, really pleased about that. I'm not going to set it. I'm going to just leave wet. Oh, I'll come closer. Don't worry. You don't move. I'll do all the moving. Can you see my little beast in the background having a cameo moment? Um, okay, anyway, guys. So today, 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 I'm going to begin with this matte lilac shade. And I am going to use... Do you know what? I'm actually going to use this small pencil style brush. And I'm just going to put this just all up in my crease. There she is. I must say, I do find it a little bit tricky to blend. You know, with the wet concealer on there. I just, I don't know, it just feels like a bit draggy, maybe. I would say that this eyeshadow doesn't seem as pigmented as maybe I would like. But, you know, you can definitely build her up which isn't a bad thing. I always feel like super, super overwhelmed. You know when you get these palettes with a tremendous amount of shades in and, and like, you know, you've got every shade under the sun kind of palette. It's almost like, you know, being a, a, not even a kid in a candy shop, being like I'm in a candy shop and just not knowing like, which one do I get? Like, oh, have you ever seen that video, guys? You know, on YouTube and it was actually from the British X Factor and uh, they had like you know a guest performance and it was of the Chippendales and they were doing this whole dance to I'm going to link it down below because I know you will love it it's amazing like trust me guys amazing you're going to thank me later and, and don't worry it's fine it's fine guys but um you've got all the Chippendales and they're dancing too I'm hurting. let's do it Ready? Not pony. Uh, oh my gosh guys literally link I'm linking it down below you watch it you watch it don't watch it when your man's there he might get a little bit jealous but um oh my gosh guys it's so good how bonnie's can't hear what I'm saying right now I mean, really. This shadow is building nicely, and I'm just kind of, you know, working my way around. Okay, I'm not really liking the brush, so I'm going to switch brushes. I'm going to use this um, 
cost, costal sense, coastal, <laughs> coastal sense, like coastal sense brush. I'm just going to use this to blend. Okay. Okay, so next I'm switching to a brush by Jessup. This is a pencil brush and I'm going to go in to the slightly deeper purple shade. Again, it's, it's a matte. Uh, we're just going to use this to add a little bit more dimension to the crease. Like I'm not actually the biggest fan of purple, you know guys, like I'm just not. I don't really think purple suits me, but uh, you know, I just feel, felt like doing something a little bit outside of my usual box today because, you know, what's the fun of makeup if you're not playing around with it and experimenting, you know? If I just wanted to do the same look all the time, then I probably won't really be that into makeup, honestly, because I like to, to try and go out of my comfort zone a little bit. I always think, if you're not going outside of your comfort zone, are you really living? I mean, really, guys. Anyway, so I'm also going to take the deeper purple and I'm going to pop that under the eye. Okay, right, so next, na, 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 next, we're going to pop a little bit of, we're going to go for a much deeper purple now. So we've gone, we've gone light, medium, now we're going deep, intense purple. I bet you're glad you clicked on this video now, aren't you guys? Like, really? But anyway, so I'm going to pop this deep purple right down here in the outer V. I wish my eyelids wouldn't move, you know, when I'm blending. Like, that is a symptom of getting older, I know. But, oh gosh, I wish, I wish, I wish my eyelids were taut. Like, why are they not taut? Can you see it just moves? It's like, oh my gosh, like seriously, cut it out. Cut it out, eyelid. Okay, so next, to give us a little bit of pissass, a little bit of something extra. I think I'm going to try this aqu aquamarine shade and I'm going to just pop that. I'm going to pop it just around the crease. Okay, so next we're going to go back under the eye and I am going to use a little bit of, I think I'm going to go in with this lilac shimmer and I'm going to just pop that like on the inner corner of the under eye. I like that. And I'm going to also, we've not finished yet, I'm going to pop it on the inner, the inner corner. Okay, so guys, I feel like we are ready for the shimmer on the lid. So as I said, I'm really, really, really eager to try this beautiful shade. It's almost like a duochrome, but I actually, I don't know, it's kind of like a purple, blue, sh peacock kind of shimmer. So by the way, this is the first time I swatched it. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, just the feel of this shimmer is very promising indeed. So I am just going to use my finger. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is, look at that. This is beautiful. Okay, so I've just loosely applied the shimmer to the lid and next I am going to apply um, a little bit with a wet brush. I don't really even feel like this needs a wet brush, but I, I do feel like it would definitely intensify it a little bit. Um, it looks beautiful. It almost has like a textured look to it, but without without it making your eyelid look chunky, if that makes sense. The actual the formula itself, I feel like it's got a bit of rich velvet texture to it, you know? 
that's probably why the navy blue insisted on staining my beautiful crushed velvet chair so we're going in with the wet brush if you're wondering what I used to wet my brush today well I used my spit I feel like this shimmer is just absolutely mesmerizing look at how beautiful that is like would you describe this as being like a purple or a blue I just I still don't know but like it's different to different to any other kind of shadow that I wear and I really like it I really like it I just want to add a little bit more purple to the crease because if you look closely like you can definitely see the purple there you can see a little bit of the blue but I just want to make that a little bit more noticeable so I'm going to go in again with the Coastal Scents brush because this is like so soft and fluffy and I am going to go in with mm, hmm do you know what? I'm tempted to go in with the navy actually. Should I give it a go? I know it's going to completely change the look, but I'm just going to give it a go. We're going to go big or go home. And you know I've told this joke a million times, but I'm at home. You knew that I was going to say that, didn't you? You were like, oh, she's going to say, but I am, I am at home. And I did. So predictable. Oh my gosh, yes, I like it. I approve of that. I approve of that. That is very nicely pigmented, very rich in colour. Oh yes, I am I'm here for it. Oh bitch, yes. Do you know what? I'm gonna put the navy under the eye as well. I have to do it. So I'm getting my pencil a brush and we are going under the eye. You know what, I'm really liking this look. I feel like before it was a little bit like un underwhelming, but now that we've added this navy purple blue, should we call it a blurple? We'll just call it blurple. I feel like now that we've added that, we have suddenly been met with a whole load of sass, pure unadulterated sass. I'm going to get a big fluffy brush. I'm just going to kind of blend the edges. I'm actually going to pop a little bit of, I'm going to go in with this light purple or lilac. Like, I never know. Is it lilac, lavender, violet, purple? Like, how many different names do you need to have for purple? But anyway, I'm going to just pop this around the edges of the blurple. I feel like this is not the right brush to use so I'm going to get this brush and I'm just going to go back into the violet whatever it is did I spoil it? I always think that oh my gosh did I go too far like did I probably should I get the pink? I'm going to try this pink. I'm just going to like put that right on the inner, inner thing. Inner, I don't know what the fact is, but I'm going to put it there. Did that make much difference? I just don't know. But, um, okay, so this is the look. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try and replicate this on the other eye wish me luck because this is not going to be an easy challenge but i will be back once i've done the other eye done the rest of my makeup and i will give you my final thoughts on the palette i know i've not swatched it yet but really like for me swatching is just about getting a feel for the formulas and kind of getting an idea of what shades are in the palette seeing what they look like swatched so like um anyway guys i know you don't care so i'll be back in a sec
Okay, so I just thought I want to try faux freckles today just because I just, I don't know, I just feel like it's a faux freckle kind of look. So I was thinking of potentially trying the You Can Be new eyeliner in the shade brown just to see. I mean, I don't know, this could be an absolute disaster, but I thought I would give her a go. So this is what she looks like. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. Do you know what? She could be a little bit dark, but should we start with like, should we do a beauty spot? Or should we start with one here? And if it goes wrong, I'm not going to be as annoyed. I mean, don't forget this is an eyeliner. It's not frecked. You know, it's not that freckle pen that costs about 20 million pounds. Okay, just put that there. Um, I don't know, is this going to... I think it went to work. Maybe. Do you know what? I've still got loads of fallout all of my face. Like, that's not helping the cause right now. Like, it's just not. By the way, I also like... Oh, shit. Oh, holy savage brush. I mean, really. I don't know if I am liking the lipstick that, that I've used today. I don't know. Is it too much of an obvious choice, you know, to go with... To go with a purple lip with this kind of a high but I don't usually use this lip so I thought I'm just going to use the lip. Do you know what I don't quite know if this is working for me as a as a freckler I just don't know but I'm going to try it more because that's the kind of reckless girl I am. Oh my gosh, what do we think guys? Is this working? Is it working or have I hit rock bottom? I think from a distance, working from up close probably does not look like the most realistic freckles ever but this look is dramatic. It's out there. So I'm just going to carry on. Ta-da! Fucking ta-da. I mean, really. Okay, so guys, I've hit my limit with that. Apart from, should I do a beauty spot? Oh my gosh, look at her go today. Okay, so I actually kind of like this for faux freckles, but I don't think I would wear it for like work, you know, because I believe it or not, I have started to wear faux freckles for work. And it's really funny because you'll be like talking to someone and you know they've spotted the faux freckle, but they don't want to say anything because they're like, oh my gosh, have I never noticed before that that Amwin has freckles and you can see they're kind of looking a little bit like confused but um do you know what I kind of like this for the look um but yes up close they don't look like the most realistic but anyway guys I have come to the end of the whole trying on the makeup now so I'm going to give you my thoughts on the palette I'm a little bit scared to open her because of navy blue which ironically turned out to be my favorite shade in the palette other than the shimmer Um, so okay I've not swatched it yet so I don't know what I would have said but I can imagine like I'm just going to speculate here that I said that I loved the shimmers because the formula is magnificent so I got quite a lot of fallout from the uh, beautiful kind of purpley shimmer that I used because it's not fully pressed down it has a little bit of like give to it so it's not powdery or loose but it's also not super pressed down if that makes sense I don't know if you can kind of see but where my brush has been kind of digging in there you can see a little bit of like eruption I don't know what how I say it but you can see a little bit of like a, a ridges in road I don't know guys but I actually really, really like the shimmer and I like the other shimmers. These are kind of two down here. I really enjoyed those too. I thought the mattes were good, but um, maybe not quite as pigmented as, as I would have liked. However, as I said, you know, you can easily build them up. Also, if you are using these bright, colourful shades, I feel like if they were like super, super pigmented, I'm just thinking of the subculture palette here from ABH, if they are super pigmented, they could be really difficult to work with. I would definitely say if you're looking to have a fun, colourful experimental eyeshadow palette in your life or you have a friend a relative that is really into makeup I feel like this would be a really good gift for someone because you've got 
practically every colour you could ever wish to play with in here. Uh, so I feel like this would be a really, really good palette um, for someone starting out in makeup. You know, I think you've got an easy formula to work with and you've got a beautiful array of shades. As always, I would like to say thank you so much to You Can Be for sending me this palette, the eyebrow pencils and all, oh, I keep calling them eyebrow pencils, but they're not, they're eyeliners. But thank you for sending me the eyeliners and also for sending me the cruise palette of which I'm going to be doing a very playful look with. So I am going to go now. I really appreciate you watching the video. I hope you have a great rest of the day and I will see you in the next one. Hopefully if you come back, please come back guys. Please. I know you're thinking, oh my gosh, I'm winning those freckles. I, has she finally gone crazy? But anyway guys, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. Bye.